What if a parasite could help stop mosquitoes from spreading disease? NSF-funded researchers at Vanderbilt University have discovered that the DNA of a common insect parasite could help fight dengue and Zika and even malaria. While Bacchia is the most successful parasite ever known, it only infects bugs, millions of them, all over the world. It's been known for close to 40 years that Wolbachia has the power to hijack insects' reproduction in order to spread itself through females. But how the bacterium does it has remained a mystery. Recently, the team has identified a specific pair of genes responsible for the parasite's power to cause infertility. Here's how it works. Wolbachia can infect insects like mosquitoes in two different ways. One, it changes how they reproduce. If Wolbachia-infected males mate with uninfected females, most of the eggs die. But when the male and female are both infected, the eggs live and the offspring carry Wolbachia. So within a few generations, this overachieving bacterium can spread throughout an entire insect population. Two, Wolbachia prevents human disease viruses like dengue and Zika from reproducing inside their mosquito host and prevents mosquitoes from spreading them to humans when they bite. Wolbachia can prevent pathogenic viruses such as dengue virus and Zika virus from replicating in mosquito hosts. This combination of infertility and RNA virus inhibition are in the vanguard of control efforts to suppress mosquito populations. There are also advantages to using this bacteria instead of pesticides. One of the advantages of using these bacteria to control insects is that it's a more natural way to control them. Instead of insecticides that have off-target effects on other insects or even on fruits and vegetables, Wolbachia naturally occurs in insects. And therefore, using these bacteria to control insects is simply a natural way to do it. Vanderbilt has applied for a patent on the potential use of these genes. Their hope is to genetically engineer either the bacterial parasite or the insect themselves to produce more effective methods for controlling the spread of insect-borne diseases like dengue and Zika and for reducing the ravages of agricultural pests.